Now let's say that we want the shield. And while we want the shield, we could just add one and make that the shield. Let's instead make it so that the shield also can take double damage on the head. And we'll also make it recharging. So add a space here, since it's once again a catch-all. And then add head here. So we've got, this is not nothing, there's a space here. There's a space in each of these. Now, max health. Let's say we want 100 on the shield. Once again, for the part that's going to be the headshot, number th health element 3, we don't need to add a health value because it's going to forward its damage to element 2. So, assistances. Once again, on the shield's headshot. Now, shield's other element. 2 is our main body's shield. So 2 is going to be set to shield 0. And cutting the recording, sorry, so getting back though. Uh, we've got, yeah, our head shield and our body shield. So going down here to the shield other elements, we're going to want the body shield 2 to act as a shield for zero, element zero. And then three is going to be shielding element one, the head component. Now forwards damage to element is going to be three is going to be forwarding its damage to two. So as long as it takes damage it will forward it to the main body shield, but if the main body shield doesn't have anything then it'll end up getting passed onto the headshot there. So with this Let's see, healer will immune, regen, actor can regen, so let's say that after two seconds, we will allow our shield to regen at a rate of 20, and can regen or heal when empty because it's a shield, like normally you don't want a character that's already dead to start immediately regening his health, so we'll take this to enabled so that the shield, because it's a shield even when it hits zero, we still want to will out to come back. So, set that, and ba ba ba, health bar. We'll need to actually reflect this. So once again, number two is our main body's shield. So, health bar, three. Yeah, three. No, two. Sorry. Once again, array health element two, even though it's the third one in the listing. Base zero is annoying. <laughs> All right, so shoot the body, ten damage to the shield. Shoot the head, and we get twenty damage when we hit the head. And now it can regen. So, just like that, we've effectively created a character that has health with a shield that can regenerate and take damage hit him. So, the main key parts are going in overview again. Whatever method you have for dealing damage when you hit line trace or whatever to it, you want to use the damage actor and set the stuff up like so. You need to make sure that it knows what bones or component it hits so that it can get the name and use that for the keyword differentials. So then you'll want to, on anything that has the actual health blueprint on it, you'll want to have the damage and health BPI interface added and you'll want to use this to forward those values onto the health blueprint component, also using the same type of damage actor message. Then, for the health value itself, you want to have the keywords, which effectively say what part's being hit, and so whether or not it'll react. And, again, while these things might seem like they would overlap, because down here we tell that one of this is like number three is shielding number one. That means that when you both of these will not count as taking damage in the same hit, because number three will shield number one as long as number three has health, or the thing that it's forwarding damage to, which is number two, has health. So it takes a little bit of getting used to, but I ended up originally having a simpler design for the system. But because I wanted it to be modular so that I could stick it on super big bosses, complex, crazy things, lots of 
layered shielding, all sorts of modifiers and whatever. I ended up sticking on to this system because once you learn how to use it, it's extremely open-ended and you can just keep stacking all sorts of things together to make a really complex system, which is useful for some types of big complex enemies. But for a simple system like this, basic health, basic shield, basic weak spot, this tutorial will hopefully have helped you figure out how to do that. So if you've got any comments or questions, leave them down below. And hopefully I'll get back to them as soon as I can. And hopefully next time I'm doing a video I'll be a bit better rested. I ended up just uh, recording this one right after I got up when I read someone's request for it in the YouTube comments. So my voice and everything might be a bit off. But hopefully it was still all legible and audible. Later.